I have got a fragrance that smells so good, if you throw it in the air, it'll turn into sunshine. Seven men's home wrecking fragrances that will have her calling your name. These fragrances are gonna make her say your name. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Trey Sense, and welcome to the channel. When you're sick and you really don't do nothing but sleep and watch TV and sleep and watch TV and all this stuff, you have plenty of time to think of fragrance ideas. So this one hit me and I wanted to do it. Everybody does panty droppers and all of this stuff. I don't wanna do no panty droppers. I want to do something a little bit different. Now, this is all based on what I have in my collection. I try to stick with fragrances that are readily available, easy to find, and somewhat affordable, but at the same time, good. Now, let's get the first one out of the way. I've got seven and one honorable mention. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you happily married, and you want to stay that way, don't buy this fragrance. Let me repeat for the people in the back that did not hear this. Because I want you to understand what you're getting yourself into when you get this fragrance. If you buy this fragrance, it's going to cause a problem. And it is from the house of sensual obsession. Owner and proprietor, Kevin Hope. And it is Gourmand Delight. And I wear this, <laughs> proceed with caution, because when I tell you that I have a fragrance that smells so good, if I, if I put this in the air, I'm telling you, sun gonna break out in here. This is called Gourmand Delight. And when you spray this on, you get a slightly gourmandy, slightly sweet, slightly spicy, boozy, evidently aphrodisiac. I've told this story a thousand times, I had a woman that has known me my entire life since we were elementary school age growl at me when I had this fragrance on. I mean, she stopped, sniffed, and looked around as if she was waiting for Denzel or, or, or Shamar Moore or whoever to walk up. And she just kept looking. Is that you smelling like that? And you know me being the confident slightly conceited brother that I am, I said, well, hell, ain't nobody else standing here. Who else you think it's gonna be? She said, oof. Roar. <laughs> Roar. Roar. Roman Delight, man, you have to be careful with that. You have to be careful. But if you man enough to wear it, baby, and I think I detect just a hint of plum in there, boy, and I'm gonna tell you, nobody, nobody, does plum the way sensual obsession does it best plum on the market that you can buy bar none that's it that's all man that's just good that's just good gourmand delight i'm going to put the contact info for sensual obsessions in the description so you'll be able to text kevin and tell him you want some of that, some of that home record 3000, baby. That stuff right there going to cause a problem. Now, to the seven fragrances from my collection. If you wear these fragrances, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, she's going to be calling you daddy. She's going to be saying your name, baby. She's going to be after you. Let's get it. Let's get it. This one right here. I got this fragrance at a really good deal. I purchased it from Macari, on Macari from a seller who said he knew who I was because he watched my channel. He was like, I know who you are. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, baby. Um, and it's from the house of Nishane. And it is honey. And Nishane fragrances will forever have a special place in my heart. Because when I was in Texas, with my boys Manuel and Shikari, AKA JP Fragrances at Manuel's House of Aromas. When we went to the scent room, one of the first things we did was stop right there at Nishane because it was right there in the door. It was right there. So we walked in, turned to the right and there it was. So we just started picking up, you know, like, 
and we were told to come over here but fan your flames is another one that could have easily went on your list because that is a stunning fragrance but for me it's this one it's this one um this is just a compliment getter of a fragrance sweet much like um home worker there from central obsession much like gourmand delight sweet spicy hint of fruit maybe plum slightly boozy but sweet it just smells <laughs> so good and this is one of those fragrances it could be the reason that women react the way that they act um when these fragrances are warm because of the confidence, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, because of the confidence that they exude because their chest goes up a little bit more than the head goes, you're just gonna walk a little bit different. You know, when you know you smell good, you know you smell like the Rick, like the man, you might get a little Rick flower on, you may have to hit him with a little woo. <laughs> yeah, but Nishane's Ani, good. And I could have put Fanny Flames in here as well. That smells good. That smells good. I'm gonna have fun doing this video. As if you couldn't tell. I love doing videos like this. The next one. Oh, and I don't know if you noticed, we're going back to back. Cause I just did a video yesterday and put it up. And we're going back to back. We're gonna put this one out so you can get it. This next one and anyone from this line, I think would have worked. The house is Giorgio Amani. The line is Aqua de Jo, and the one I chose is Absolute. And this is a fresh, but man, is it good. And this is one, when I wear this, I have people just asking me like, what are you wearing? And you, you, you know, the look on their face when, they, when, they, when it hits their nose and they smell something that smells really good and they're just like, I don't know what that is you got on, but you, that's one of these right here. I'm telling you, you're gonna stay on the mind, you're gonna cause some problems, and she's gonna be calling you daddy. She's gonna be saying your name, Trey. Yes, yeah, sir. That's just good right there. And you could have went with uh, Profumo or Profundo and, and, and been just fine. Or the original Aqua de Jo would have worked, but I think Profumo or Profundo are absolute. Beautiful, beautiful. I, if, I, if I could smell like this every day. Now, it's it's a fresh, masculine fragrance, but Absolute fits this name perfect. Absolute, for the name of this fragrance, works perfect. And you see that juice. So you kind of can imagine in your head what it's going to smell like. And it all ties in together. The color of the juice, the scent profile. So what do you have? Again, slightly, slightly boozy not an overly loud or obnoxious fragrance real real smooth real easy to wear as signature scent worthy if i could smell like this all day wouldn't be able to tell me nothing this next one is probably one of the most talked about fragrances in my collection and i'll tell you all the time don't bore her de or her and she will never leave you alone and people always mispronounce it when they find out i do fragrances you got that savage i said i got savage so from the house of dior from the line of savage it is savage the parfum now you if you have the edt or the edp i like the parfum better because this one just works on me i never forget i had some business to take care of and a young lady oh man the incense in that what you have with this is an incense type fragrance and you have that blue what is that ambroxan oh man it just smells good young lady walked by once and she looked at me she walked by again she looked at me she walked by again and she just about the third time she walked by, she stopped. And there's, I mean, this is a big office. There's nobody in there but me and the lady. 
uh, this happened to me with the paperwork and her. And she stops and she goes, I don't know what you got on, but whatever it is, you got this whole place smelling good. And then you know you're smelling good when they give you that. Mm. And they walk off because you know what they be thinking. Think, mess around, take his little brown titty bad looking ass home with me. And I, I ain't scared. I'll go from the house of Dior. Don't bore her, Dior her. I try to stay away from fragrances that are just so popular that everybody has them. But you can't go wrong with 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 Dior Sauvage, whether it's the EDT, the Parfum, or the EDP, or the Elixir, which is one I may have. I have a Travelo of the Elixir, uh, and I never wear it, simply because of the price. I'm waiting on the price to come down, and I would like to add it to my, I, who knows, I may splurge and get it this weekend, who knows. <sighs> That's just good. It's, it's just good. Now it's strong. It's strong and this is this is the less projecting of the three it's a little bit smoother and a little well, of the four it's a little bit smoother and a little bit more refined but it, it's you can't go ham on the sprays of this you have to go three maybe three maybe four sprays placed strategically i say or maybe around your belt maybe back of the neck chest and then somewhere on the wrist maybe and that's about all you're going to need of this. And you could for hours, days. Dior Sauvage. This next one. And I'll never forget being married at the time. And my ex-wife coming home and talking about, yeah, this guy came in, worked today, and all the girls went crazy. And they asked him what he was wearing. And he told them, uh, Versace Eros. And I'm thinking, I wear arrows all the time. You don't ever say nothing. I do like flame a little bit better. I think it's a little bit more grown up. I think it's a little bit more refined. I think it's a little bit richer and a little bit deeper. Uh, this is all I have of arrows. Now, I had arrows and then I sold it. And then I've got this. I think Cheapo may have sent me this. And I will probably be looking for a gift set of arrows with the prices going down with everything going on clearance here after christmas so i may keep my eyes open for an arrows gift set because i would like to add a full bottle to my collection and then i'm contemplating arrows uh edp as well but nonetheless you you know this fragrance you know extremely 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 sweet extremely sweet so sweet that it comes off as clean when it hits your skin. It smells like you have on really clean clothes, really, uh, really well laundered clothes. Just, just a nice, nice fragrance. Very sexy, very romantic. Can be worn any, any time of the year. Definitely a date night. We talked in some of our other videos about fragrances being very versatile and not needing 50,000 fragrances. Well, this is one that could have easily went on that list. This, in my opinion, is a four season fragrance. I do think it leans more towards warmer weather, prettier weather, but you can definitely wear this on a cold, rainy day if you want to. I think it's hoodie approved. I think it's polo shirt approved. I think it's V-neck t-shirt approved. Wedding, whatever. You know, but just be prepared is all I'm telling you. When you spray this on, she is not going to leave you alone. You're going to cause a problem when you wear that. This next one, I think, is for the grown and sexy. I think it's for uh, us men over the age of 30. Um, I'm 48, just had my 48th birthday. I know I don't look it. I get it. I get it. If I shave this beard off, y'all going to think how you didn't start doing cologne reviews because I shave this beard off. Y'all going to be in the, at the time I was up there because I look 12. That's where I keep this old gray, this old gray beard, because without it, I look. But anyway, this fragrance, I think, matches a guy like me. Um, know what I'm worn out of life. I take care of my business. I don't take things too seriously. But at the same time, I carry myself, I conduct myself most of the time <laughs> like an adult supposed to but every now and then i like to cut loose and have fun because i mean what is life if you can't live and have fun from the house of ysl because you know you can't make 
a, a, a fragrance list that drives women crazy, gonna have them calling your name and disrupting homes without YSL Y La Parfum. Or you could have used YSL Y Parfum as well. But La Parfum is I mean, what more can I say about this fragrance? Sexy, sweet, very smooth and refined. That is goodness in a bottle. Again, it's one of them fragrances. If I could smell like this every day, if I could afford to replace this bottle every time I went through one, if I could smell like this every day. And for those of you who have uh, one million parfum, to me, the scent profiles are similar to me. Are they identical? No, but they're similar enough to where if you don't have that, uh, this one, you can wear that one. And I think you'll be in the same vein in the same wheelhouse. My goodness, I'm telling you. Wear this if you want to. You're going to cause a disturbance. Women are going to tell you how nice you smell. They're going to comment, especially if you dress the fragrance, which is something that we have to start doing, especially as single guys. If you want to get more attention from your fragrances and more compliment from your fragrances, your fragrances need to match your wardrobe. What do I mean by that? I know y'all probably see me sitting here in these old t-shirts and stuff, but hey, I'm at home. I'm relaxing and I'm hanging out with my crew. I'm hanging out with my boys, so yeah. But believe it or not, when I get ready to go somewhere, I know how to put on some clothes. I know how to put on some clothes, I know how to dress. I know how to make everything from head to toe match. The shirt, the shoes, the jeans, whatever. The sweaters, the watches, it all goes together. And when you put it all together and then you step in, smelling like they're right here. And I'm telling you, I've had some crazy, this, this smells so good. Slowly becoming one of my favorite lines, the entire Y line. This is slowly becoming one of my favorites. I, I just, I just like it. It works for me. It just absolutely works. Why it says why La Parfum. Now a little bit about the fragrance. Sweet. Uh, smooth refined but it it has a playfulness to it that i like it has a fruitiness a little bit more of a grapey vibe so so to speak at least that's what my nose picks up on like it just smells good guys listen to me now believe me later on give this a try ysly la perfume very underrated house and i know it's hard to say ysl underrated yeah because we've moved on from fragrances like Len We De Lone or, or um, Lone or, or um, Blue Electric and fragrances like that. We've just mo kind of moved on from them. So we forget about the house of YSL and how good it is, but it's a really, really good house. Another house that we have forgotten about, and I don't know how we could because this is not only one of the prettiest bottles in my collection, but one of the best smelling fragrances in my collection, and I absolutely love it in the house is Valentino and it is the original, Valentino Humo. It was hard to choose between Humo, Humo Aqua, and Humo Intense. Um, and then you have Humo, Humo Aqua, Humo Intense, and Yellow Diamonds, I think. And I'm thinking about, oh, and Born in Roma, I have Born in Roma as well. It was hard to pick, it's hard to pick, but it's just something about this one. To me, it has more of a masculine uh, appeal than the other ones. Oh man, this smells good. Mm. Let, me give, let me refresh, give myself just a little. And this is why I hold off on buying fragrances. I did get, again, I told you in the last video, I did receive some, uh, some money from a dear friend for a Christmas present and I do have money coming in from YouTube and 
it's gonna be a decent little amount from from YouTube this time so I'm looking at maybe purchasing four fragrances total and it's gonna be anywhere from a four to six hundred dollar fragrance haul so I'm excited um, but fragrances like this is the reason that I hold off on buying so many fragrances that are not 10 12 15 dollar fragrances because I have so many that I just need to wear and this is one of them but this fragrance <sighs> leathery slightly leathery slightly sweet powdery I don't know if that's iris in it because you know I don't read the note breakdown because again we talked about this to me to my opinion in my opinion you put two notes together then you have an accord and everybody's going to pick up on something different so the main player in this right here to me is something makes it sweet something gives it a very powdery vibe and then it's a little bit of a leathery nuance running under it that's what i get that's what your boy get i could sit here and read off all day long that it has uh iris grown in the uh forest of alabama fertilized with baboon boo boo I could tell you that because that's what the notes say but that may not be what you smell so i'm just telling you for those of you who are wondering why don't we ever say more about the note breakdown because notes make accords think about it think 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 <sighs> but this is one of those fragrances picture me rolling like pox said picture me rolling right man you picked the hook you're on your way to the sizzle, you know, and you, you kind of leaning, you got some key sweat playing and, you know, she's sniffing and rubbing on your arm and talking to you, and, you know, you, you know, cause she's trying to get, she's trying to add some shrimp to the, to the, you know, to the buffet that she going to get. So she trying to, she trying to work it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you fragrances like this. And especially again, you got on a nice sweater, some Tim's, a nice pair of jeans, man. You know, everything is, is the way it's supposed to be. You know, you like, okay. And she smell this on you. She get a whiff of this every time you move. I'm telling you, you're gonna have to run to get away from her. You're gonna have to run to get away from her. And last but not least, this house has a lot of bangers as well. What size is this bottom? I really, really like this fragrance. And I really, really like this house. And this is another one of those fragrances that, that is just in my collection. And I got to get this on skin more. The house is JPG, John Paul Gaultier. The line is Lamal and it is Ultra, Ultra Male. I almost put in the Navy in here, but it's something about Ultra Male that is just, and my boy Corbin Woods sent me a um, picture today just a while ago because I messaged him and you know told him, wished him happy holidays and all this stuff. And he sent me a picture of what is the new John Paul Gaultier Elixir. I'm just like, man, I don't like you right now. You're making my decision hard because I've been recommended that one as well. But this is one. Even though it's a blue fragrance, it's even in a blue bottle, this is one that, for whatever reason, women seem to love. When I wear this, I'll forget that I have a fragrance on because I'll be, you know, you just I just lose track of them. And then somebody will go, oh, you smell so good. You smell really nice. And then they always want to know, what is that? You know, so. But yeah, that's one of them. But anyway, and that one, slightly blue, sweet. It, again, to me, it leans a little bit more youthful. But that's fine. That's fine. Fragrance don't got no age. It don't. I pick up on something. A little bit fruity in there. I almost want to say pine. Dare I say pineapple-y? But not, not strong and not um, off-putting in any sense. Something in it makes it a little bit fruity. Definitely sweet. Definitely blue. But definitely the type of fragrance that women like to smell on men. So, or at least. 
that has been my experience so all right guys that's it man that is seven home wrecking fragrances for my collection that's gonna make her say your name she gonna be calling you curtis clifford tyshawn jim whatever your name is she gonna be calling it if you wear this and if she can't get your name out she's just gonna call you daddy they gonna call me trey around this month trey trey brother mm. And again, get you some of that home record 2.0 from, from Central Obsessions, man. I'm going to leave Kevin's contacts so you can get it. I'm telling you, you'll thank me. You'll thank me later. But anyway, guys, listen, I love you all. And thank you so much for always being the best part of my channel. Appreciate everything that you've done for me. Always be active in the comment section. I want to say this, too. If I don't respond to your comment, I don't want you to feel like I'm overlooking you. Some of the comments don't show up on YouTube. You have to go to YouTube studios. And these old binoculars sometimes won't let me read the comments on YouTube studios because they're too small and you can't pinch and blow it up. So I don't want anybody to feel like they're overlooked if you're commented on. So sometimes I just give you a, a, a like and a um, heart. That's because I can't really read the comment, just saying. But anyway, but on YouTube, the app YouTube I can blow it up and I can see those better so but anyway now there's no reason for you not to smell good I just gave you the handbook so now you know now go get them I love you all and may God bless you all until next time oh I forgot to mention if you want decants of any of these fragrances with the exception of Ani and Eros because I've decanted all the Ani that I think I sold two decants out of Ani Got rid of all the honey I want to get rid of, and I just don't really have enough of this to decan. So, but everything else, if you want to decan of five mils, let me know. I'll leave my email address as well, and for a small fee, I will gladly send you a five mil decan. Now, with that being said, I got to get off. Edit, thumbnail, and all this stuff. I love you all, and may God bless you all. Till next time, guys. Peace.